Greetings, welcome to triage number four for the Wix uh, tool set. We're going to go and hook ourselves up to the internet. Present. All right, so I've already looked at the, all the untriage bugs. I think we have 748, which is higher than we left it last week, but lower than when we started last week. Um, also, I forgot who, I think it was... Rawson that sent me email saying that he would like us to triage this bug before we moved on, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, because he asked nicely. So the burn entry for one one's key is over the limit. Um, the run one's key ends up turning into a path or something like that, apparently, and it's more than 260 characters. You lose all that and things like that. Um, this is, is all... All OSs? Um, I don't know if it's all OSs. I would would not surprise me if it was. Would not surprise me if some of them got longer elsewhere. But um, the to fix this, we have to basically take the command line and scroll it away somewhere secure, um, and then go and find it after run once and hook ourselves up and then delete it later and all this other kind of stuff. Um, this is doable, but it's been existing for a while. Um, it shouldn't be a breaking change because this is all within the engine. So given our previous stances, I believe this says it's a 3x bug, right? Yeah, agreed. Okay. So um, we should definitely fix this, and it would be great to fix it in 3x, but we're not going to hold 3.8 for it, so we're not doing it now. It, I don't know. It's not going to be trivial given the security stuff you have to get right, but there we go. So, Bob, you're taking your scribing once again? I am scribing. Sweet. So, yeah, we should do that in 3x. And it should definitely be open. Um, moving on. Votive won't load if the target variable, variable is set. Yeah, I, I, we need more detail on this one. Um, actually, I know about this. And MS Build does all kinds of bad things when the tar um, target variable is set. So, um, don't do that. Yeah. This is actually true about visual... Like, you could do this and break CS projects and stuff like that, too. Um, um, so I, I, this has been a problem all over the place. It's possible that other projects do something to handle it. Um, we could look at it, I suppose. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> um, but... Um, yeah, this is a known problem all over the place. The I would I remember talking to the MS Build guys once about this problem, and they're like, "Yeah, it's a target variable there thing. It's an MS Build thing." Um, so it's, they treat properties and environment variables the same way, right? And somehow the target pr property is deep inside MS Build, and then it just starts confusing things all over the place. Because um, I don't think we have a target property anywhere in our stuff. It's, a, it's an MS build thing. Um, but if someone wants to look at it, I'm fine with that, but um, I, I don't know how we fix it. Maybe it was a 3.5 stuff and it works correctly in 4.0. Maybe that was... Well, that's why I asked about the, you know, the versions yeah. of you know, right. stuff in use. So I, I don't... That's my memory. I haven't gone and verified it. Just, should someone verify my memory? Which is usually a good idea if we... or do we just presumably they're doing okay in other things? I don't know. What do we want to do with this? Uh, I agree. It's it's you know worth investigating. Um, I'd say open it in three X. Leave a build. comment that says that we've we've known about the target problem in MS Build or something. Yep. All right. Onward. Optional upgrade or side by side installation. Currently, the choice to upgrade. New separates chosen automatically by MSI according to the hard coded product goods. Uh, no. The upgrade? It's not quite the happiest solution. You could provide possibility to detect an existing stuff, but when they enable the user choice uh, in new. Right. So this is about like dislabeling, remove existing products, and that kind of stuff? Um, I suspect it's. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if the UI said. You have version one. This is version two. Do you want to keep version one around, kind of like Office? 
right. has done for, for ages. Um, the, the, the description is, simplifies it perhaps a bit much, um, because really the, 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 this is how do you take something that is already side by side ready and also manage the, you know, clean uh, small case or whatever. I, it's a reasonable feature. If someone wanted to do it, I'd be like, yeah, cool. Yeah, I, th I think it's I, interesting. I Although think I think it's non-trivial. It's non-trivial, and there'd be a lot of restrictions on, you know, how this could actually work. I think, but wouldn't that be a? So Neil's asking if it's a burn feature. Well, this is just for an MSI, so no, it wouldn't be a burn feature. But you would probably have to do that in. You, presumably, they'd want the same behavior in burn as well, which would then mean you have to go do something there too. So, um, I mean, oh, that's fine. That's if, uh, no, it's. I mean, you basically you just plan out. It's actually easier in burn, I think. You just yeah. say, you know, don't plan the, you know, I detected an upgrade bundle, don't pl the related bundle, don't plan it, and it will do the right thing. But yeah, I mean, assuming all your MSIs are inside by side and stuff like that, yeah. So anyway, um, so yeah, they, uh, sure, it's a reasonable feature. We'll open it, put it in, I don't care, 3X? Yeah, I'm okay with leaving it in 3X. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm okay with leaving it in 3X for now. I think if someone actually implemented it for MSIs, it would probably be a 4X feature, though. You might put that comment in there. It, we we yeah. need to see the change to know that for sure. Extension required to, for an ad, internet shortcut adds 300 kilobytes to the installer. Really? Is the internet shortcut extension that big now? Well, no, it's part of Wix, it's part of the util extension. So. Oh, and the util extension is single thing. Wixca.dll Wix is home to all of the miscellaneous custom actions. It is, and so we could make them smaller, and then we take the 40k hit for each of them. So if you use a bunch of them, you end up with a lot more. Um, so I think this is a completely reasonable feature if someone wanted to go through and start chopping these things up into smaller parts. Um, it's a matter of, yeah, it's just a matter of, it's not a bug. It's a feature, yes. but that's fine. Someone could go and chop the custom actions in tiny pieces, and it would be completely invisible, but it's not a 3.8 thing, and it's a feature. Can we move it to feature, too? Yes. Sweet. But, yeah, totally doable. be easier if... You know, one of the things we've talked about in the past is it'd be nice if we linked against the MSV CRT that was in the operating system, if we could do that, instead of having to carry the static lib in our DLL, and we could shrink our DLLs even further, even though you're not supposed to link to this MSV CRT in the operating system and all that kind of stuff. So, right. I don't know. Anyway, pain, but it'd be nice if we could shrink our things, shrink the uh, DLLs, because I hate the fact that we have the overhead. Uh Installation to a map drive. This isn't a Wix problem. Wix doesn't do this. This is MSI. So, so Bruce brought up the fact that you can't do the, you can't link to MSV CRT without the driver kit, and that's correct. You would need to use the driver kit to install, which would make our install e our build even more complicated. But you know, we could do it. I just don't know a good solution for it yet. Anyway, uh, this is a MSI problem. Although I don't think it's a problem, it's a MSI runs as a service, and you have to make sure that you have it, the permission yeah. set correctly. So I, I didn't close this one immediately because the error reporting reported is against the secure objects custom actions. What? Where is that? I don't understand. Where is that? Right under your cursor. Oh, fail to set security descriptor on object. Oh, interesting. Error two. That's, that's definitely going to be a custom error. Failed on object blah. I guess actually I was assuming that was secure object. I didn't actually look at the error code. It but probably I is. I yeah, I mean, it's in, it's in our range. So, I mean, it's probably us. Um, I know that MSI does support. You can you can put files on a network share, but I don't. I mean, it's still you're running as local system, so you're not going to have any permissions 
to modify um, ACLs on on remote. So. Um, fair enough. That's a good catch. I guess we'd need a no more information. I, I yeah, we need a log file to to debug it. It's not a three eight bug. Um, we need a log file to go understand and see if the set security descriptor can be made to work against network drives. It's possible that the set named object or whatever set named object security, I forget the thing, would create a, not, might not like map drives. So um, it could turn into a feature request and make it support that. Or, you know, a bug if you want to look that way. Anyway, um, we need, need more about what was here. Or someone could go try, I guess. But not a three eight bug. So are we going to open it then? I think. Yeah. yeah. See, I need that <laughs> needs more information feature done. Not quite done with that. All right. So. Good enough, Bob. Yep. All right. Unable to change the target of the failure hyperlink log. Why? That's not. Um, right. You can scroll down a bit. I added some comments already. Um, basically, the the code that responds to the on click from the hyperlink uh -huh. uh, ignores the hyperlink text and just opens the log file. So the person reporting the bug wants to, I guess, tweak the the theme to point to a specific package log rather than the burn log. And Wix standard BA doesn't doesn't pay attention to what you put in the oh. text of the link. Just always goes to the to the burn log. Well, Wix standard BA always goes to the yeah, right. Uh, okay. And he tried to add an ahref. That's cute. Uh, I guess it's a it'd be an interesting feature. Um. Well, it would be a feature. Yeah, and and it's more this feature, so it's like, okay. I don't I don't know how interesting it is though, because you well I guess you could you, you could say the bundle log's not interesting and you always want to open MSI log, which is the decision he's made, which is, I mean I I get it, but not, yeah. I guess well I okay okay I guess I see the I see the value I see the value in that, um I guess I. I was thrown by the fact that the link includes the path to the log file rather than that just being the href. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, I mean, especially if you have basically, you know, a typical small bundle with prereqs and one package. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, yeah. I mean, it, it basically says that you trust that burn doesn't fail very often and that your MSI is usually the source of failure means you trust burn. Okay. I mean, that because it would be really frustrating to get an error and be pointed to that log file, and the log file's not there because the MSI never started because it failed to extract or something like that. And, sure. But, I mean, it, it's a that's why it's a questionable feature because, you know, if anything goes wrong, then you're, you're kind of, the user's like, click on a link that doesn't resolve to anything. But um, I think Wix standard VA being able to resolve to the correct log file seems reasonable too. So I, I don't know. Um, oh, actually, that'd be interesting. Yeah, point to, to the log that was known to fail. Yeah, that's that's probably the more interesting feature Ooh. of all this. I think that's probably the real feature here. It's not not the title of this text. It is the you know I want to point to the log file that was the most errored. <laughs> so yeah, that that's an interesting feature. That's an interesting feature. Installer never quits. Yeah, so Bruce tried to go around us and mark his bug <laughs> untriaged, which is not the way it's supposed to work, so I have to rethink our workflow a little bit there, but <laughs> it's okay, Bruce. We still love you. Um, the software let him, so that's, you know. I, I, I appreciate the fact that he, you know, he, he assigned it to himself, which means he's probably working on it, which is all fantastic and good and stuff like that. Um, this is didn't we already have a bug tracking this? And I know we had a fix that wasn't the fix that we needed to, yeah, and, and avoid using the Windows message. But it wasn't the Windows message that our message was getting sent to the wrong place or something. Like I thought we got farther along, or was there never a bug? And it was just a discussion on Wix devs. 
Maybe yeah, that's there what was, it was. Oh, actually, that's a good point. I know that there was a, a bug elsewhere. Um, I investigated it a fair bit. Um, the, so what, the feedback I got from Raymond Chen, him, Raymond Chen himself mm. was, don't do that, referring to using um, Windows as our IPC mechanism. Oh. Okay. Um, okay, well, it's just the same thing that Bruce says in this bug. Yeah, it, it, and it was something. It was a problem in Windows Vista only. It works ah. in Windows Seven. Ah, the, yes. the workaround in uh, the workaround on Vista is uh, to run the service as an interactive service. Right. This is the whole shatter attack or whatever that was. Yeah. 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 Okay. Or fallout from the shatter attack. Fine. Um, Bruce, if you're on this, I, I take it for three eight. I I hope we don't have to put the funky. If st that that if statement is just wrong, it's, we need to come up with the right way to close this. So, I I take it in three eight, but Bob, it's your call. Um, yeah, I, I like to find a better. Uh, yeah. He says he's working on it. So, okay. Bob, the question is, when would you not take this bug in three eight? At what point would you say it's too late to take in three eight? Um, I I want to well, assuming that we we hit the uh, dates that I uh, talked about on my blog, um, I would take this up. I, I would want this in the beta. Okay. Um, so, again, assuming we hit those dates, that would be, you know, sometime next month. Um, All right. So let's 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 do that, and and we'll have a discussion if it doesn't come at that point about moving it. Cool. That works. All right. Heat actually stumbles over DLL files. Oh, well, this is already signed to player. All right. So player might have follow up. Oh. Yay. All right, good. This happens on... Oh, good. So this is not a regression. That's That makes me feel better that we've never handled this. Or we've only done as well as we could. Um, we may want to consider something means of probing each binary for the existence of self-reg before attempting to call them. Hmm. Hmm. Probe for entry points. Do a dump bin kind of thing on them and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we kind of already do that, right? We're looking, we're looking for the function before we call it. I think the the weirdness is that we, the heat just kind of assumes. Unless you tell it not to, heat, heat just kind of assumes that something is um, eligible for self reg, and then it throws kind of rude error messages saying, you know, but it wasn't, as opposed to just saying, oh, it wasn't, so I'm going to skip it and not really complain about it. I I, I don't care. <laughs> I I have no I have no preference on this. You can already tell heat to yeah, like like Blair says, you can already tell heat to suppress registration, or to, right. to suppress that. Do that. Done. Next. I I, don't, I whatever. Um, it, your call, Bob. Do you, I I don't want it in four. You want it in three X? I take it four. I would take the fix. It's not going to break three X. So. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think or, or anybody general. else in the peanut gallery can vote too. I'm I'm I I have no vote on this. Uh, well, yeah, and you know, heat. I, I really don't care a whole lot about. So, this is one of those. If someone wants to work on it, I would, you know, consider it. Um, if this is if this is actually, I mean, this feels like a, a, not a whole lot, but a little bit of feature work. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's doing more in heat to handle this case better. Neil says heat first pass only. I don't get it, but <laughs> uh, not a fan. Oh, right, first pass. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, so Neil's going to say, all right, so we're all in the same spot. Now I, I don't care. Um, scribe, do as you will with this bug. I don't want to spend more time on it than we have. I'd vote that we just kill it, but or the answer is self regs or to suppress self regs yeah, I mean, it's a fine workaround. This is, um, 
you know, we're going to have this problem where it's like, yeah, this is an interesting thing, but, you know, is someone actually interested in doing the work? Um, yeah. You know, uh, I'm not. I'll say that, you know, to be fair. Um, yeah. so, and so I think we have to work with it. Yeah, file it as you wish. Like that's that's what I'm saying. It's like I I certainly don't want to create a bug around. I don't know. Like I don't know. It's like someone in triple cost they could fix it if they wanted kind of thing. I don't know. Um all right, this is the incremental build. Why is this untriage? I thought we did this already. Um Wixlib. We did Wixlibs, not Merc module. Oh, this is where we must have stopped. Um, cool. Yeah. This is the same point as Wixlib, and we can open it in four because I'm hoping that I can solve this in four. It's that whole generated path thing and stuff like that. So I'm hoping I can tackle this differently, but it's not a small change. So, is this kind of the same problem? It is. It is. It's, it's actually the same problem as Wixlibs. It's just harder because it's merge modules because um, we have even less introspection to them, but it's the same problem. Oh, fair. That's fair. Yeah. So anyway, there's a whole lot of the generated files that we have to do to get the incremental stuff to work correctly. Um, burn fails to remove MSUs on WoW 64. This is an excellent bug. Oh. Cool. You opened it. Yeah, that's why it's excellent. Yeah, it took me a second. There's always a reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Mr. Arnson, do you think we should take this in 3.8? Um, I otherwise agree with the bug. Yeah, it, it's. I, I think we probably should. It's a simple enough workaround. Um, you know the 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 market for MSUs is kind of limited, so I don't know that anyone cares because it took several years to notice this one. Um, but yeah, you know, it's right. it's pretty broken, so. So you want to try to slip this in 3.8? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's pretty small. Okay. I, I take it you must have a fix laying around or something, or at least you know what the fix looks like. I've done it once. So. Yeah, okay. If you've gotten this close to it, then presumably. I, your call. I'm... Yeah. I'm. Burn, MUI support, and ARP. MUI, ARP doesn't support MUI. I totally agree. Now what? Is that actual MUI, or just... Yeah. Resources. Display name underscore localized. Is that real? Like, if that's real, we should totally be doing that, but I don't think that's real. Can you actually do this? Got me. I... The localized ARP display name. All right, now they've... There's no way this works. I've never heard of that. I this this there's no way this works. Uh yeah, let let's kill this as it doesn't work and if this person can point us to documentation that proves me wrong, I'd be happy to see that. But I have never seen that anywhere. Really? Suggest it. The only thing I was finding was links back to our own bug. Can you put the link in here, Neil? And I'll bring it up. Wow. This would be fascinating if ARP actually supports this. What would we point at? We could end up pointing at the bundle exe itself. Oh, I guess, oh yeah, they want to install a file. They want to point at the installed file. Mm. Mm, what? Uh, that seems. I'd rather have it. I'd rather have it as a part of the bundle yeah. container and the bundled mm. container and store the DLL with the, the bundle exe itself. Or localize the exe itself, but I don't know if that would be really hard for people. Um, so if this really exists, that's cool. I've not found that before. Uh, 3x? 
it shouldn't break anything, right? It should be additive. Yeah, I agree. It's additive. And all right, all right. Someone found a link. Wow. Registry search redirection. Shortcuts. Yeah, so I knew about the shortcut thing. Shell action verbs. <laughs> Look at that. Holy cow. Sweet. Um, all right, Bob, let's add that link. That's awesome. When did this show up? This hasn't this must have come in in probably oh Vista. Vista. Oh, that's interesting. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. We should do that. Three X I think would be fine. Totally should do that. Wow. Cool. Learn something in the morning. I love it. Votive does not quote oh Vota three seven yeah, right, 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 whatever. Out to be, to be, it doesn't... Wow, that's a big old font. Look at all that font. What is that? Larry Murray wrote that. It always does not, for example... Blair, you've gone back and forth on this. Am I on? Yeah. So, are they, yeah, me, are they using mind up, paths? Let me open up a bigger version of this here real fast. I mean, Which number is it? The 4043. I, I mean, if they're using bind paths, we should be quoting those. And if they're doing it themselves, they have to quote it themselves. So, which is it? Okay, we're let's see, I'm trying to find the last. Okay, here's um, here's what it is. They're putting it in themselves because uh, the uh, MS build support for calling the lit tool does not uh, uh, take the. Well, actually, the path? no, no, it provides something, but it doesn't provide something in uh, Votive. And so oh, fine. they're trying to do this all from the Votiv interface rather than opening the file up and altering the file directly. So this still isn't a bug. If they want to add it themselves, they have to quote the path themselves. Well, actually, they can they can do it themselves if they open up the file, and uh, uh, they they can either quote it themselves the way that he did it in Votiv, or they can open up the Wix lib file directly and put it in the correct. Um, uh, they can modify uh, their metadata. Wix proj. They can add their Wix proj and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So it's still not a bug. I mean, it. We're not going to quote arbitrary command lines automatically. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. So okay. Fine. Right. This is still not a bug. Um, I agree. Yay. All right. Next one. Fail to copy XML. Right. I. D. Should be caught during call time more descriptive. I expect the string length of the ID value to be checked. Huh? The value of the ID element is too long. Interesting. I have no idea why. I don't know where that's at, that it would care that it's too long, but I'm surprised that the compiler doesn't say anything if an ID is longer than a typical ID. Oh, Wix 3.5. Ooh, interesting. Um, so yeah, I think we would take the... Wix 3.5 RTM. Yeah, so uh, 3x, and anybody in the peanut gallery want to go try this real quick and see if it works? Can we get any takers? This is like a really easy bug. To no. repro. To repro. To fix, even. Yeah, true. Block it. In the, like, 
we have a thing on the IDs on Kapow. It should just be there. Anyone, anyone? All right, Blair. So Blair, the bug is on site, but we, we take it in 3x if there's an issue with it, right? Agreed. Yes. Burn does not roll back MSI install before reboot. Ah. Uh, I could see that happening. Yeah, that's probably true. I, mean, I can there's see no, that happening. There's no record of the plan or anything in that persists across the reboot. It's yeah, this is not time. easy to implement. The problem here, the big problem, is that the ARP entry removed is removed during the rollback. Yeah, we should fix that. That would be a 3x bug. We should fix that. That's not right. So, yeah. Force restarts suck, by the way. Yeah. In I case mean, you like them. Oh, gosh. They just, they're just they just so painful. We've done so much in burn trying to handle them, and there's just yet another tiny little case that we've missed. Um, Bootstrapper reports size of setup only with ARP entry. Maybe we're doing something wrong, but we should install net 4 to restart, and after that, the ARP entry forever reports a very small installation size. Uh, well, that's it's possible that the update's not happening, that it's not getting updated after the install. Um, so... Yeah, I'd take that in 3x. I mean, we should get the right size. It's a small thing, but we should get it right. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember there being an update to the ARP entry, but... Yeah, I, it should happen, but I also know that that part of the burn update logic is non-trivial, so it's possible something's not right. Good point. I do wish we know what version of burn they were using, but whatever. Setup build. When we're calling them at TFS, action ends up with the same works in the local... But uh, the error depends on set of X A is a standard. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. This thing is dead. I don't care about it. Um, it's still not clear to me what the problem is. But do, did we? Sorry, I should I should probably know this. Did we even ship set up build in, in three seven? Yeah, I don't think we removed it yet. Don't care. Yeah. Um. This is the same as that heat bug. What do you want? I'll let, I'll let you decide. It could go three. I don't want it four. It's dead in four. That's okay. Setup build should have been removed in three six, but we didn't. I chickened out and people <laughs> complained and I left it in there. So, I, your your call, Bob. I I passed this problem on to you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, it's it's fine. I mean, again, this just falls into the. You know. Oh. Interesting. Um, yeah, should we just remove it? I, I'm fine with that. Point. I'm fine with that. Like, yeah, if you want to remove it, nuke it. Like I said, it should have been removed in 3.6. And I chickened out. People whined and I left it in there. <laughs> Is that all it takes? Well, I, no, because, I mean, they're like, you know, burn doesn't do exactly the same thing this does. And I'm like, well, burn, yeah. It, this thing is not a great way to doing bootstrap. I mean, it's, it, was a, it, was a, it was a good first step. We learned what we needed to learn from it. It was helpful for the tiny project we used it for, and that was it. It's, it's not the way forward. And now we have this legacy thing that's been there forever that you know, at some point we probably should kill out. And I'm happy, and, and like I said, I don't, it's not in four. It's gone from four, so you can decide if, when, if ever, it leaves 3x land. Well, I, it's fair to say that it's not going to get any attention. That's true. 
I mean, perhaps. Unless this guy wants to fix it. Yeah. Um, so, so a topic perhaps for another day, or okay. definitely for another day, is uh, our deprecation policy. Yes. Um, I, I would be okay with removing it if it's you know vestigial code. We should we should be able to get rid of it and say it's the same thing. Actually, you know I'm actually very comfortable with that. Setup build has is entirely self-contained. It has you know there's nothing inside. It's not like burn where where the compiler and binder know about burn. That's right. It's, its command line is ginormous and it has a very crappy user experience. You're right. <laughs> it's completely yeah. self-contained. Um, yeah, increasingly I'm I'm okay with removing that and just say it's in three seven, yeah, the same right. as it would be in three eight. I'm either way I'm I'll I'm go with that. Broken link on custom action page. Yeah, we should fix this if it's not fixed already. But we should fix this. Agreed. So we'll put that in three eight. Uh, vote. Of, I'm trying to get a couple more bugs here. Feature requests, support for referencing custom extension projects and solution. Yeah. Okay. I, it's a, I, sure. <laughs> I agree. That would be a fine feature to add. I don't work on Votive, so it's easy for me to do that. Thank you. I'm just saying it's it's I don't know how much work it's going to take to do it, but yeah, sure. Well, I don't even see. I'm 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 curious because you know the next bug I think four hundred three four hundred three four is I think the actual. Um, oh concern. this. Yeah, this is a pain, but this is MS Build. You can get around this with MS Build. I think it's MS Build that ends up locking it. Yeah, if you specify a magic command line to MS build to like don't reuse MS build nodes or something their perf is worse because they start and stop all the time because they're you know managed code and it goes up and down up and down same reason that we load the Wix custom actions in proc anyway they're the thing that ends up holding on to our extensions and that locks everything um, so if you set that you can cause it to actually get everything unloaded but I don't know how you set that inside Visual Studio <laughs> and it's all just annoying And I don't know, this is all Visual Studio behavior, so it's not votive, it's Visual Studio and MS Build. We'd have to do... Well, well I wonder if it is. Actually, I mean, we, it, it's probably Visual Studio. No, actually, the Studio other way around this time. is you can you can run your... your um, you can tell it to run Wix out of proc, and that will at least get the exes to run again, and so then you're, uh, you won't get locked by MS Build. I think that will do it, too. Oh, that's interesting. So, yes, and none of this is stuff that we can fix anyway. So they're all just workarounds. I mean, the, the fundamental issue is that. So I, I think we add that to the bug and we kill it off, right? Works for me. All right, deal. Um, And I'm I'm fine with this. This seems like a completely reasonable feature to take in 3x. Uh, yes. So cool. Like patch bundle doesn't remove. Oh, this bug. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's seen this before. Uh, we have a we have a, a, a pull request open for it. This uh, is the okay. pull request that I haven't taken. Uh, give this to me. And I have a month to make a decision if it goes in 3.8. So okay. you can go ahead and give this to me and mark it open, and I will know that I have a bug in 3.8 that I have to make a decision on that thing. Okay. Yeah. Heat produces uncompilable output. Really? However, a candle... Class foreign server server was not found. Oh, that means the class is not a child of the file that it points at. But it is. Oh, but this one's not. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, yeah. This sounds familiar. 
Yeah, that's a bug. It shouldn't do that. <laughs> or this isn't implemented by this file. <laughs> And it can't figure out what file. That's actually probably what happened. Is it can't figure out what file this points at. It sounds kind of oh, weird, that's though. That's possible. Because um, if it pointed at this file, it should have been able to find it. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a bug. You're probably gonna whoever wants to fix this probably needs their DLL to repro it. <laughs> I haven't seen their OCX. I haven't seen this in the past. But oh, it looks like people are Peanut Gallery has answers. He provides the file. Cool. Whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, push the right button here. Oh, it's probably on source. source. Yeah, source. I'm so glad I migrated that link over. Yes. Oh, right. me too. So um, we would take this fix in 3x, right? Yeah. And 3.8 if it got done really fast and was all good? Yeah. All right. Well, Blair says he's going to take a shot at it. So if we mark it as open, then Blair can go ahead and take it. Uh, done. Sweet. Noon, do we want to do one more? Nah, we'll save that one for next time. Because I don't want to talk about it yet. Because I know what's on the other side of that bug. Um, cool, I don't know how many we got through. I guess we didn't get through a page, did we? No, that's too bad, which means we got through something like one, two, three, four, five. So I think we got through about 20 bugs this time. 18. 18. Well, snap. Um, cool, well, there we go. Um... I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day, evening, or tomorrow, if wherever it is for you. Um, 18, and um, we'll see how things roll from here. But another good round of triage. So uh, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back and all that, especially those of you that stepped up, like Blair and crew to fix a bug. And Bruce, thank you for opening a bug and trying to slip by triage. Very cute. Um, I will have to go think about that. The bug opener can mark it as open, not for triage. I have to go think about that. So, anyway, uh, have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. See you next week.